It is uh, now my uh, privilege uh, to um, introduce our very special guest who is uh, no stranger to higher education or to leadership. And I think that's probably the most important thing uh, that I can say here today. It is my uh, privilege to introduce uh, Chancellor Nancy Zimfer, who I have known personally for a number of years. Uh, we've worked together uh, at the national level and others. I have watched uh, this amazing woman uh, achieve incredible heights, and not only in her academic and professional career, but in her compassion for communities, urbanism, and the uniqueness of geography, and how they intertwine with higher education and the process of true engagement and getting students and service learning and those things involved uh, in the relevance of what we do on a daily basis. She came to SUNY, I think as many of you know, for after almost six years as president of the University of Cincinnati. She served as the chancellor of the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee. Prior to her appointment in Wisconsin, she was the executive dean of the professional colleges and dean of the College of Education at the Ohio State University in Columbus, Ohio. She is obviously passionately involved in civic engagement, economic development, urban education reform, and of course, if she'll, you'll talk to her a little further, she also understands rural, uh, as she grew up in uh, southeastern Ohio in a very rural part of, the, of that state, and even knows a little bit about farming, uh, which we were just talking about. Her achievements at University of Cincinnati include completion of the final phase of a $1.7 billion 15-year capital transformation of the urban University of Cincinnati campus in uptown Cincinnati. Again, something I know a little bit about since uh, that is one of my alma maters, and I'm proud to say uh, we were incredibly disappointed to lose her, but I am incredibly happy to have her here at SUNY. She created a University of Academy of Fellows for Teaching and Learning, established University Center's new center for the city de designed to facilitate innovation and productive partnerships that leverage university and public expertise. That really is the theme here today, is the fact that through partnerships and leveraging and being entrepreneurial, this community is so vibrant, the work of the universities as well as obviously healthcare and the great work of our elected officials and our businesses and the community that cares in our diversity is what brings together, I believe, a unique culture here within central New York and what really drew, I know, Don and I to Syracuse to be part of this vibrancy and to be also part of the moving forward in the new economy. She gets it. This is a woman I would just summarize in saying that walks the talk. She creates vision, she creates energy, you can see it. She has her own sort of sense of sustainability, the new, the new energy. And yet, at the same time, she accomplishes great things in a relatively short period of time. She knows how to mobilize, she understands people, and most importantly, she cares. I'd like to introduce the Chancellor, of State University of New York, Chancellor Nancy Zimfer. Thank you, thank you. Well, I wanna thank David. I am uh, just delighted to be here, uh, to have landed in the same stratosphere as President David Smith. It is um, amazing. There is a, a national environment for public higher education, and that's where you have the opportunity to meet wonderful colleagues from literally across the country and around the world, but you don't always think that you'll end up at the same place working with them. So yes, David and I have had many uh, common interests. Our paths have crossed. We have served together on national boards. Uh, and so the great good fortune of having a University of Cincinnati alum serving at Upstate Medical University and now uh, proud to be a partner of Dr. Smith. I just want to thank you, David, for everything you do. Thank you. And I can tell you, as I have traveled the state and as I have met with leaders of our academic health centers from around the country, around the state, they've mentioned that David has been catalytic. He has really been uh, a convening force and a great partner. So I celebrate the fact that today we are celebrating partnerships. Now, uh, we did have a little geographic discussion, and I'm going to tell you something that I'm not going to tell anybody else in New York. But he missed one detail in my repertoire, which was um, my 1964 award as the Gallia County Fair Queen. Um, now, um, I know, I know. And
And um, what happens, um, well, this is a great honor. You have four days of pinning ribbons on livestock. Um, that's what a junior county fair queen does. But um, Greg actually knows my sister, and she tells me that in the audience, someone standing behind my mother observed, the ugliest one always gets it. <laughs> so it was then that I launched my career in humility uh, and rural uh, farm experience. And I, I don't quite know how this uh, farm girl became such an urban advocate, but I have lived in great Midwestern cities, in Columbus, in Milwaukee, and in Cincinnati, and in every instance felt the importance of partnership and collaboration and the outreach and engagement role of great universities, great public universities, great private universities, great research universities, great teaching hospitals, and how together we can rebuild the fabric of the United States of America. Uh, one of my privileges over the recent uh, years has been to work with the Brookings Institution and their Metropolitan Public Policy Initiative. And they have set out to tell America about its new demography, that nearly 75% of our population now lives in metropolitan America, that we are becoming a metro nation, and that for small town and rural America, the vibrancy of metropolitan America is as important to rural America and to small town America as it is to our key metropolitan areas. So what I value most in what is evolving here in the uh, metropolitan Syracuse region and in central New York is the outreach that you are providing to the North Country and to the boundaries way beyond what people would call your obvious boundaries. And you are doing this together. Another organization that I've had the privilege of working with is a group called CEOs for Cities. Uh, they have begun to label institutions like universities and libraries and museums and botanical gardens as anchor institutions. These are organizations that are not going to move their corporate headquarters they are a celebrant of place. In fact, CEOs for Cities calls them sticky capital. We're not going anywhere. We're staying here. We are here together to create vibrancy in this community, to plot a regional economic development plan. So today we have senators, we have assembly persons, we have the mayor, we have representation from the foundation, from the College Council, from the Board of Trustees, formerly Carl, uh, everybody that matters to the leadership that will move these organizations forward. So all that I can do today is to say that I celebrate your success. I am here to be a good partner. I truly believe that the State University of New York can be the finest public higher education system in the country, a model for the globe, and you will be a huge partner in that extraordinary accomplishment. I thank you for everything you do. It is a great privilege to be here, David, once again, for your hospitality. I look forward to getting to know you all much better. Thank you.